Kai. It's it was a a, a tough first round opponent in Brees. He's a uh, a player that uh, not many uh, players on the world circuit would like to face in the first round. How did you um, feel in that first game back after seven months out? circuit now but I knew I had my chances and um, yeah it was a really close match I was leading in both sets especially in the second set and yeah I'm I'm still a bit angry about uh, uh, our service judge because um, yeah I, I've got called I, I think five five service faults in the whole match and especially at 20 all in the, in the second set um, yeah that was a big influence on the game but yeah, I have to accept it, but uh, I don't think my service is that high, but yeah. yeah. So uh, you were trying out the underarm serve, and I saw in that uh, first game towards the end you were called fault a, a few times, and perhaps the uh, the reason why you lost that opening game. But then, uh, what did you change in the second game? Because you seem to be causing problems for Brees with your serve. made some flicks because I thought if she's uh, calling fault on my short service then I, then I can try the, the flick service as well and it, it's I think my flick is quite good with, the, with my forehand and it but it wasn't only the service I think I played more patient and uh, I played more like patient but then I got some good chats to attack yeah but in the end I maybe lost the net uh, too often so I was always uh, lifting and he could attack in the end but yeah these are um, unusual times for all uh, players here at the Denmark Open you were involved with the uh, players commission at badminton Europe from a player's perspective how do you find the the preparation and the organization of the event here uh, I think in the arena it's, it's quite nice I think it was a bit uh, confusing for everybody when we arrived in the hotel uh, some days ago and we were, we were waiting for the COVID test and then we had to wait in our in our rooms uh, um, for the results um, but I think everybody is trying his best and I think it's possible to play tournaments although we have COVID um, it's much more to do for the organizers and for the stuff behind behind the tournaments but um, yeah we play as we would like to play, I think. And, uh, yeah. La lastly, um, there might be um, an another wait until you get back on court again and play a competitive uh, tournament. Um, what are your plans now to continue your training and building upon um, what you've learned here in, in Odense? Um, hopefully there's uh, Zada looks open in some weeks, so I'm training full until this event and then I talked to my coach because we had a lot long period of training like seven months that's also uh, really tough for the body because we didn't know when to go on holiday or something because we didn't know when we're starting again so we always had to train and it was I think it's quite tough for the players um, also for the body and for the mind so after Zara looks I would take a break and yeah hopefully we can start with some tournaments in the next year so 2021 and then i want to be in a good shape because i still need some points maybe for the olympics uh, so that's my focus at the moment yeah. perfect uh, thank you very much kai and uh, best of luck for the future and sala looks open